Yeah, so I just got out of the shower. Um, the kitchen is a mess right now. We're getting a new stove and a new dishwasher. I moved these both in personally by myself. Very fun. I have to work out today at 11 and I don't want to like tear anything before I go train with Nick. Um, but I'm trying my best to vlog when I can. It's just like, uh, I don't want my videos to keep being like these, these just sporadic, you know, all over the place, random clips and then workouts and stuff. But it's kind of just going to be like that for a little bit, guys, until like I get my shit straight. But um, for the most part, yeah, that's, uh, that's just going to be my morning. So I'm going to make a quick breakfast because I have to get to the gym by 11 and I have to do a couple check-ins as well. So I'm going to show you what I make for a very, very quick breakfast. We're going to be doing 80 grams of oats. Now here's the kicker. If you really want low calorie, you'll just do water. But I prefer to put in... Um, a little bit of milk. So I found that milliliters and grams are pretty close together. About one cup of 2% Fairlife milk. If you can't measure out your milk or your liquids, I have noticed that if you use the grams on most, um, the grams on most food scales, they're, they're fairly accurate. Like it's not going to be perfect, but I just measured this out to be about eight ounces, which is 240 milliliters, which is one cup. Um, and it's weighing out 254 in grams. So 240 milliliters, 254 grams, it's very similar. Um, so if you can't weigh it out and you just kind of, you know, you track your macros and you, you're not super anal about it, you can kind of just pour water or milk or whatever liquid you're drinking into uh, the bowl with the scale on grams and it should be fairly close. So a good little tip to make just things a little more quicker. Yeah, so once you have your oats, oats and milk, in the bowl throw that in there for like probably two minutes this is the fun part this is what really makes these protein oats delicious so you can use pb2 it does make it taste pretty damn good but i like to use the real thing and peanut butter is just goddamn delicious i'm only going to use 16 grams so one tablespoon of peanut butter my estimations are correct that should be about 16 grams Oh, not bad 15.9 and there's still some left on the spoon so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that's about 16 grams so my finger too throw that in there little side story this cat right here I've had this cat for like since I was 14 13 I got her as a graduation gift for graduating uh, middle school and uh, she's an old as fuck cat but you wouldn't even be able to tell look at her Still in her prime. Right, Keeks? She murders like a lot of rabbits. Like a lot. And then this is what makes it really delicious. So I'm going to do 30 grams, the whole scoop uh, from Gorilla Mines. Oh wow, the scooper and the packet are in, in one thing. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's all together. So this is a little more hefty. I normally only do 20, but although egg whites are pretty quick too to cook, but. Um, Gorilla Mines chocolate peanut butter protein. This is the first time trying it in my protes. I expect it to be pretty good. The chocolate, milk chocolate flavor from Gorilla literally tastes like Nesquik. So I use that in mostly like my mug cakes and I was using it in my protes, but this is the first time throwing the chocolate peanut butter in the protes. So we'll see if it's any good. Once you have the peanut butter and the protein in here, you just pretty much mix it up. Yeah, I'm vlogging today. I have to start vlogging because I don't have enough footage. I literally don't. I'm scraping the barrel right now. Do you want breakfast or are you hungry? Do you want breakfast? Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm toasting some bagels. No, I had breakfast. Do you have any of the two out of ten animals? Yeah, I can bring one. I had oatmeal and two rice cakes, so I'm good. Uh, good call. I'm making some eggs, oatmeal, and uh, I'm topping a bagel with some eggs right now, actually. All right, that sounds good. Okay. Okay, dude, I'll talk to you. Okay, I'll see, see you ya soon. Auction right here is literally just one whole egg, two egg whites. I'm only gonna eat one half of the bagel. I can't eat the other one because it's a, it's a lot of carbs. Well, I mean, I guess I, I guess I could eat the other one. Started chowing down on the oatmeal before I actually like told you if it's any good. So obviously it's really good. 
Um, the chocolate peanut butter does have a more of a peanut buttery taste to it. I think I still prefer putting the milk chocolate in the oats because it just, it's so good. It gives like that, such that creamy, like, I think the peanut butter helps make it creamier, but the milk chocolate just gives it that creamy Nesquik, you know, uh, if you're a big fan of like Reese's, it gives that Reese's vibes to it. The peanut butter chocolate still is really good. It's a good alternative. I just still think that milk chocolate with peanut butter is just, oh. Just packed my, I put a bagel with a little honey and a spritz of, can't believe it's not butter. And I have my one whole egg and two egg whites at the bottom there. I'm gonna bring this. My pre-workout's right here. I got some camera bag on the side. I'll probably just bring my camera with me for time's sake, but I'll probably pick it back up over at the gym. So I'll see you there. Tell me what you think about me 